Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. video. This is Ace Griff Gaming with V Season 3 2024. I guess you can probably call it kind of like a debrief sort of thing for uh, the um, start of a brand new season. So obviously um, this season's going to be a little bit more of a, another brand new test in a very different way. And uh, for those of you that um, have been around for a little while, seen a lot of my streams over the past few months, life obviously in the background has been quite difficult, but that has um, been kind of like a little bit more in the background. And it's been going a little bit unnoticed with that because of how well last season went. So we have a few accolades that, um, in the last few months that we have now gained over the past um, coming into this season. So um just as a little highlight so last season we managed to finally win the rpm gt3 championship overall um so we will be defending the title in our uh porsche which i will go into um what cars we're going to be using during the, uh this coming season in, in a moment um on top of that we also managed to gain uh, get up to 3k i rating for the very first time um, something I'm going to aim to try and keep, although it is not going to be easy. And also on top of that, we have obviously also managed to win the Indy 500 just a couple of weekends ago. So hopefully everything will be, uh, you know, quite nice and flowing going into the new season, but it's going to be quite difficult. So let's go into um, what I'm going to be mainly focusing on during next season so of course like i said we are going to be entering the rpm gt3 championship once again obviously being last season's champion it will be meaning that i will be attempting to defend the championship although it is going to be very tricky a few of the drivers of which i would have been battling with had a lot of issues with regards to the rain system and it was something that I was able to uh, actually just take advantage of because I wasn't getting disconnected where a few of my championship rivals were. And also, I was actually pretty quick in the wet. There were, of course, a few drivers that are quicker than me in the wet conditions, uh, but they weren't able to reliably be able to stay in races all the time, particularly the first couple of wet races. Um, so every single wet race that I've had pretty much during the course of this season, um, of last season, I should say, sorry, um, I managed to do pretty well apart from one. And that was, of course, the race at Watkins Glen that could have, uh, very, um, that could have actually have been a podium possibly overall, um, at the worst, possibly a P4, but unfortunately we got bumped in the rear by a back marker. And uh, if you may remember, going back to that race, I was very, very annoyed about it. Which goes to show of how much of a gain I had made just in the space of a month. So, um, one sad thing to say, and this is one of the rule changes. Obviously, a league will go through some rule changes um, as and when it's required to do so. Which RPM does do this every single end of season going into the new season. They'll look through the rules and see if anything needs to change, be changed. One of the rule changes is that for this season, there will be absolutely no wet races. And they have gone on to explain exactly what they've said. And that is basically that they cannot allow their, um, their league to be put under disrepute because of a system that is beyond their control. And what they're saying by that is basically that I that they believe and the majority of drivers do believe and I am of, you know, it's obviously a concern for me as well, that the majority of drivers feel that it's up to iRacing to, to actually um, make the, the rain weather system performance better so then that way people aren't losing connection um, for a reason that is beyond their control. iRacing have uh, put out a statement previously in the last season saying of a couple of ideas of how um, the issue can be rectified. 
And this issue has been connected to certain NVIDIA uh, graphics cards, of which iRacing is working with NVIDIA, um, to make sure that an issue can be um, addressed, the issue can be sorted out, and then to make sure this does not happen again. But of course, even now, we're talking about three months down the line, this issue has still not been sorted out. Lots of drivers are still losing connection, even at the previous wet weather race, which was the Nürburgring. And it's something that really, um, a championship, even in my eyes, should not be decided because of an issue that is beyond even the league's control. That this is something that really iRacing themselves need to be dealing with. So for this season, and this will be until further notice, the RPM GT3 Championship will not have any wet races until iRacing have completely uh, rectified the issue with regards to drivers losing connection because of um, because of uh, server drops, basically. Because um, it has actually even happened to me. Although only once, and it was during an official, and the laugh of it was, it happened to so many people inside of the split that I was in, that I rejoined the race, and actually just continued. I was a lap down for the leaders, and I still gained I rating in that respective race. So it goes to show it is a problem. You know, it's not something that just a few people are crying about, because there will be people I'm pretty sure in the chat that will go just get on with it. But when it is happening to the majority. It doesn't look good, really. So I understand, obviously, the reasoning why, obviously, Rain not being um, in the league for next season. But it does pretty much mean that it is going to be a much more difficult because I do feel like I am actually very good in the wet conditions um, in iRacing at the moment. But And I'm still learning it. I am. So there is still ways to improve for me personally driving in the wet conditions. So. And what car am I driving? Well, I did say earlier on, but obviously, just to confirm, I'm going to be driving the beloved Porsche 911 GT3 R um, 992 edition. Um, so this is a car that obviously I started driving halfway through season one, 2024, to practice with it and get ready for season two. Expecting maybe myself to move up the field, but not quite as much as I did and as quickly as I did. So. You know, I've always been of the belief, if something's not broken, don't fix it. So, yes, we've got the brand new Mustang. We've got the brand new Corvette. I have done some running in both cars. I do prefer the Corvette out of the tube, surprisingly. I thought I would prefer the Ford. But I am going to be sticking with the Porsche 911 GT3 R4 Season 3 2024 for the majority of GT3 races. And I'm going to be using that very car in the league. You'll see in front of you as well, um, in amongst editing, that we are using a brand new livery for the season. And this livery will actually be um, what we would say is our first permanent livery going on our um, different cars. So the, the livery that we were using last season was kind of like a, a beta kind of like livery design, say if you will. But the one that you see in front of you now is pretty much going to be the first um, actual livery that we're going to be using on the majority of our cars within the Quest Motorsport team. For those of you who do wondering, um, obviously I'll just um, post this a uh, little bit here now. Quest Motorsport are still recruiting for drivers. We are aiming to do, obviously, um, a good number of special events, obviously, throughout the rest of this year and going into 2025 so if you do want to be a part of that all you have to do is just dear um you can just message me down in the youtube uh comments down below i am more than happy to welcome you into the team um obviously i've got my personal um discord link for my uh for my own personal obviously channel uh for the link there so if you do want to come into the team you can by all means come into my uh discord um server chat for my youtube channel if you would if you wish to do so and just let me know that you want to join the team and i can actually then just bring you um into the team discord 
uh, from there. I don't want to be posting the um, the team Discord server into here, just in case we do get a few people that are wanting to do things that, um, you know, is a bit of ill faith, let's say. So I'd rather just try and keep that away if I can. Because obviously before joining the team Discord, I will be asking a few questions before welcoming you guys in. <coughs> Excuse me. So obviously, so yeah, so that is that on the um on the team side. That's also on the uh, RPM GT3 Championship side. Obviously, I will be doing some GT3 officials, but that's not going to be the main car for this coming season. So I have had a bit of a thought about it, and I do feel like I want to be driving cars that maybe have a little bit more downforce, um, and have a little bit more of a wider um. A variety of cars that I'm going to be driving. So Porsche GT3, I think I can obviously just jump into it, you know, do a few laps, and I'll be fine uh, for the most part. So I wanted to give myself kind of like a new challenge for uh, season three, and that is stepping into a brand new car. So I have gone into this car a few times previously before, and uh, that is the um, LMP2 otherwise officially known as the Dallara P217. So I have done a few seasons in this car before. I have had um, some uh, good success in the car, I have. Um, it, it was actually the car that this time last year, um, it um, broke what was, I believe, a three-year gap, um, two to three-year gap, of when I actually won my last race on iRacing, um, <clears throat> which is obviously still a YouTube video um, that I've got on the channel as well, um, which is something that I want to try and do, obviously. So, But I expect this challenge to be by no means any easier. So, you know, I do like to try and challenge myself in some ways, but I feel like the LMP2 as well, is quite liked a lot by a lot of drivers, even though it's maybe not quite as popular as, say, the GTPs and the GT3s. GT3s, I think, is always going to be popular. There's no doubt about that. It's the most popular series on iRacing and has been for a number of years. Um, and GTP, you know, it's the fastest class of car amongst the three um, classes in the IMSA series. And uh, it's always extremely popular with the GTPs. So, and the LMP2s to me is, you know, it's still a very competitive class and it's a one make class as well. So there's no need for um, balance of performance. You know, like I do believe that uh, GTPs are going through some issues with that at the moment with regards to balance of performance. And GT3s will always kind of have that slight little issue. Um, but I think the balance overall for GT3s is pretty good, so I'm not too worried about that. It is more of the GTPs that have that issue at the moment, and it's clearly shown when and the Acura that is not supposed to have great top end speed is actually able to not just match, but is also just dominate against like the Cadillac, which is should be pay power dominant on a track that should be utilizing power very much. So the main car. Is the LMP2. Um, we've got a brand new livery design, which you'll see in front of you now. Um, but obviously, that specific car is um, the first few cars in the line of which has got the brand new livery treatment. Obviously, the Porsche um, 911 GT3R has obviously got that as well, which the Porsche was a little bit more difficult to design around this brand new um, type of livery design because obviously, the first um livery that we tried to do with this type of design was um obviously a prototype and that is where we go into the conversation next so this is something that i didn't think i was going to do until about a couple of weeks ago um for the last few weeks of season two 2024 i started driving the uh, dalara ir18 otherwise known as the indycar so only at the start of the year we actually started to um, obviously have the official IndyCar series, um, their home, become iRacing once again after Motorsport Games obviously lost their license. Very, very quickly, iRacing jumped onto them. Let's get the license back. 
And as far as I'm concerned, it's back where it belongs. You know, the perfect time for it is iRacing. The competition is great. It is amongst it all. And uh, obviously the first time, obviously having a special event with the IR18 of about a couple of years, obviously the Indy 500 just the weekend previous of me recording this. And my last opportunity for the Indy 500 across that weekend, we did manage to win the Indy 500. So it's something that I do want to pursue in a little bit more. And also, and also on top of that, welcome Oval Racing back to the channel for the first time in a few years. And that is why we are bringing back the Delara IR18, otherwise known as the IndyCar, back onto the channel. So that will be another main car that we'll be driving with for during next season. Which, this one has been given an extra little bit of love as well. Because not only do we have a standard team livery, but I have also got my own personal um, coloured IR18 livery as well. So instead of it being blue where it's blue on the car, you'll have the same um, colorized pink slash purple color of what you saw on my Porsche 911 GT3R from last season under the beta livery. So those are the three main cars. So you've got the Porsche 911 GT3R, which obviously we're going to be racing in the GT3 Championship. We're going to be driving the um, LMP2 as our main car for official races and we're going to also be driving the IR18 uh, for over racing as well there will be the odd um, long larger event which will be like the full distance racing um, I would have actually have done um, a race at Road America this weekend but unfortunately I wasn't feeling 100% I have uh, been feeling a little bit ill um, due to hay fever and when I have to take hay fever medicine it does make me very drowsy and very irritable. So that is kind of the reason why I have actually not been streaming at all this week. Because I've been dealing with that. But I've also been dealing with another couple of things on the side as well. So I've only just recently brought back the camera. Thinking I'm going to be here for a little while longer. Um, that is not the case. So in the background, for those of you that may not know. Um, obviously about a few months ago um, my PC unfortunately um, had another issue much like what we had the previous year but this one seemed to be a bit more of a gremlin to uh, what I originally thought it's still not being fixed we still don't know what exactly the issue is and it doesn't look like it's going to be repaired anytime soon so I've been earning a little bit of money obviously um, <clears throat> in the background working hard as well and trying to save a little bit of money here, there and everywhere basically. And uh, I can now officially say that I will be getting a brand new PC um, within the next few days. Of which obviously I believe it could possibly um, be arriving as early as Tuesday. But I believe the latest is going to be arriving as Wednesday. So for the first couple of days there won't be any content for the brand new season. I was kind of hoping that I'll be able to do at least maybe something for the Tuesday, but with a brand new PC, I am prepared to wait. So my old PC um, has been about five years old. It's my first ever custom built PC. So, and I didn't have the greatest amount of money back then. So it was a matter of have a good enough PC that I can stream on it. I can play games on it all at the same time. And be able to record content and make it last a fair while. I am now at the stage where I obviously want to be able to make not just content. But be able to make the best content that I physically feel that I can do. So the PC that I've now got compared to the old PC is going to be a monster. So just to put this into perspective. The old graphics card on my old PC is only a 1060. The new one has a 4070. So you're talking a huge upgrade on amongst all of that. And the um, old uh, PC, the CPU, was an Intel. I believe it might have been only an i5. I can't remember completely off the top of my head. Um, but that um, specific uh, PC 
I've actually decided to go with an AMD Ryzen instead. And that is off of the recommendation from the, um, the, the company that I've actually bought it from. Um, and I've actually decided to go with the Ryzen 9. And the reason for it is so that way I can actually, if I wanted to, upgrade the GPU a bit further down the line without the need to upgrade the CPU. So, you know, so I do have that option open if I wish to do that. And the kind of the idea is to try and be as cost effective as possible um, for that reason. Um, so obviously it's a massive upgrade. Some people may say it's maybe a bit overkill. But in my eyes, I want to be able to stream not just sim racing on the channel. I do want to stream and record other games on the channel as well. So iRacing obviously is still going to be my main thing. It's... You know, like I'm glad that it's now become my main thing throughout 2024 because obviously iRacing has been something that has been kind of um, sitting on the back burner for a long time because of obviously the pandemic. And my motivation to do sim racing consistently has been a little bit knocked back. Obviously, recently, again, that motivation back, um, obviously, after Petit Le Monde uh, last year. And, you know, I cannot look any further back since. So that is kind of the idea, basically. So hope you obviously all enjoyed the video. Um, obviously, it's a bit of a longish discussion, especially compared to my uh, introduction to uh, Season 1 2024. I would have done one for Season 2, but obviously during that time, I was without a PC, unfortunately. So I would have done for one for Season 2. But it was just impossible if I don't have a PC, unfortunately, at the end of the day. But hope you all enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you all, all of your start to the season for uh, Season 3 2024 goes off without a hitch. Obviously, for me, it's about concentration. It's going to be about, obviously, trying to maintain that 3K I rating, which I'm going to be honest, is going to be very difficult because with going back to my old, oh, my, well, my old sim racing setup it means we're saying goodbye to the wall of this so this is what i've been using for the past few months which is a direct drive which is something that i don't use personally on my own setup at the moment but obviously where i don't have my own pc i can't use my own setup i've had to use this and i believe a direct drive system with a load cell pedal has been kind of the reason why i've been able to get as good as i have been because it's filled me up with a lot more confidence because I have a lot more feel um, with what I'm using. So going into this coming season, I don't expect myself to have as good of a season as I have done over the last season. And that is primarily because I'm kind of downgrading back where sim racing is concerned because I'm not going to have a direct drive wheel and I'm not going to have a load cell brake pedal. So I do have that going against me, but I'm going to be trying my absolute best. Obviously, the upside to all of this is that now I know I can do it. If I do drop below 3K I rating, which by all means it is possible, it does mean that then obviously when I do get my own direct drive uh, wheelbase with a good steering wheel and a load cell brake pedal, it will then mean that I will just have to try and get back up to it, which I do believe is very doable. And to get back to there. And uh, obviously for those of you that don't know. I do plan to go to Germany in October. And the idea is that I want to try and get something as a bundle price. To try and get things maybe at a slightly lower price. And seeing if something could be worked out. So that way I can buy something maybe uh, for there. You know to be delivered um, soon after. And maybe even work out a partnership of some kind. Because it's something that I am open with. I'm obviously open as well to work with smaller companies. Obviously, you know, with me not being a, you know, in nowhere near a, uh, a YouTuber that has bigger numbers. But I've noticed a few of my videos have been uh, a little bit more popular recently. Um, even though I haven't got everything backed up. Because obviously I'm not using my own PC. So... Obviously, when I come back to obviously doing more routine videos, doing routine shorts and stuff like that, the plan is, is basically 
I do plan to try and do more regular content once again uh, when the season's fully flowing and then hopefully we'll then try and gain more newer uh, subscriber numbers as well. That is kind of the hope there. Um, but for now is the main thing for me is now actually having a strategy and I feel that it's there now. So I'll, I will end it there though before I ramble on any further. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, don't forget to give it a like. And also subscribe to the channel if you do want to see further videos. Obviously, we're going to be looking forward ahead to Season 3 2024. A brand new season. Hopefully, it all goes well at the start. I won't be doing any further content on obviously on this PC in particular. Um, you know, it's now driven its course. You know, I've done uh, quite a lot here. And obviously, thank you ever so much to my dad, obviously, allowing me to be able to use the PC. Obviously, while I've not had a gaming PC of my own. Um, to be able to do my own content, my own sim racing on. But when I get my own PC back, it does then mean as well that we can both race together. So that will be something obviously very nice. It's something that we want to be able to do. So, And it's something that I realise that, you know, everybody that's been watching the channel does sometimes enjoy it as well. A bit of father-son team action. So that is something I plan on to do as well. But otherwise, I'm going to leave it there. Enjoy. Hope you enjoyed the, um, the video. If you did, like the video and also subscribe to the channel for more content. But otherwise, hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Hope you have a fantastic start to your new season, season 3 2024. I'll see you guys next time.